you know, I wish I could say that um, as a historian, I had um, long-term insight that would let me anticipate where we are in 2018 and where we are in terms of both the constitutional but also the humanitarian crisis that centers on immigration and the status of immigrants here in the United States. But I didn't have any idea that that's where we would be in 2018. Uh, but it turns out that the story that I tell about African-American struggles um, against their kind of ill-defined legal status, their struggles to be included as citizens in a constitutional sense, um, resonates powerfully with the struggles today of um, people who are often termed unauthorized or undocumented immigrants. Um, African Americans had um, invested greatly not only in their own lives but in their communities and had become part of the engine of prosperity in the United States even as they were denied the rights of citizens. Um, the status of citizen, um, and today we can look around us in our own communities and see people who have built families and institutions, uh, businesses who are um, essential to our prosperity in this moment, um, who are themselves claiming um, a kind of belonging that would give them not only a permanence but a purpose in the body politic. So these two stories resonate, not because they're precisely the same, um, but because they are a reminder that the long history of citizenship in the United States is the story of people um, who aim to aspire to and struggle to be included. That is as American a story um, as any story about citizenship.